Hi guys, I'm back with another video. Today is going to be empties. Um, I don't have a lot, but I have some good stuff to show you guys that I've used up during the month. And so basically empties are kind of going through someone's trash. Um, and that stuff you used up during the month, you tell people what they, it, what you thought about it, if you liked it, if you didn't like it, if you repurchase, if you wouldn't, and why. Um, so let's get started. First here, I used up a concealer. It is the a Maybelline Age Rewind Eraser Dark Spot Treatment Corrector. This is pretty good. It is a drugstore, so I think this was like $8.00. I think I bought it at CVS. Um, it's pretty good. It works pretty good. It's pretty pigmented, easy to blend out. So if you're looking for a good drugstore, this is a good recommended. Most people's complaints is this little uh sponge that you apply it. And yeah, that's not great. It'd be better if it was a doe foot or something, but oh well. But the product itself is very good. I, I do recommend that. Um <clears throat> next we have double decker lashes. It's from Butter London. It's a mascara. I believe I got this in a boxy charm a couple months ago. Um, so it was cool because we did get a full size mascara. It was good while it was new and it was uh wet. When it started to dry out, it started to get too clumpy. In fact, there's probably still product in there, but I don't like too clumpy, so it's time for it to go. Plus, I'm pretty sure it's been three months. It's a big uh, tube, and I don't use that much every day. <laughs> um, next, we have this Coconut Skin Smoothie Smoothie Priming Moisturizer from First Aid Beauty. I love First Aid Beauty. They're very gentle. I love everything. This smelled really good. It smelled like coconut, which I really like. So if you don't like coconut, this may not be the product for you. Um, this lasted a good while, even though it's only, how big is this? I know it's not an ounce. It actually doesn't say, so we'll never know. Um, yeah, you know, it's a small product, but it actually lasted probably like a month using it every day. Um, so, but I do recommend this. This did work very well. It's very good for sensitive skin. It's very good if you have any problems on your skin. It doesn't irritate. This I highly recommend. Let's see. Next we have, <laughs> I guess I had this a while, the Milk Makeup Blur Stick. You can't even read what it says anymore. Um, I really like Milk Makeup. I really like most of their products. This was great. It's, even if you don't wear makeup, you can just put a little on and it helps with pores. It helps with smoothing. I really liked it. And these little travel things are great for traveling or even if you just want to try out a product and you don't want to spend the full price yet because you don't know how it's going to do i do really like these and milk makeup i really like it's a very good uh products they put out the quality and uh that's a very good one the next i have is the jack black intense therapy lip balm in natural mint i've gone through several of these jack black is great the mint is one of the best ones there's a, um, a blackberry tea or something like that that one's very good too um I've never had one bad. I haven't used this stick before, but I've used these little squeezy tubies and I love them. They're so great. They're, I guess they're technically marketed for guys, but I mean, girls, if you've got chapped lips, using them at night is fantastic. And it is great for guys, especially if you go outside and you're worried about getting windblown lips, cause that hurts. Definitely use this, it's nice. You could put it on a little thicker so it, last longer while you're walking while you're hiking while you're you know whatever you're doing outdoors this is fantastic it will definitely protect your lips um next we have it's this little it cosmetics bye bye makeup it's a makeup remover and it's one of those um like a balm where you get a little bit out and you kind of just rub it on and it takes all your makeup off it worked very well and this lasted like over a week so you don't have to use a ton it did work very well i liked it the only thing i don't like is to buy the full size i think it was like 44 dollars. that's a bit much for a makeup remover for me so i won't repurchase this one again unless i get a little sample but that's a bit much there are better ones um not even better there are comparable ones that are much cheaper i mean 
You spend so much on the rest of your makeup and you're going to spend $44 on a remover. Yeah, it's unneeded is what I'm saying. Sorry about that. Dogs are going crazy, so we pause for a second. So my last product I have is Sephora Coconut Water Hydrating Mist. Now, um, this is great, but I love a mist. I love after putting on makeup on, just middle of the day, it's hot. You know, I, I like this anyways. This is a good product. It smells good. It This bottle lasted quite a long time. I had a really good sprayer, by the way. And um, yeah, I really recommend this. It was like $7. It wasn't even expensive. And it was fantastic. I love this kind of product. I love to refresh your makeup. I love, even if you're not wearing makeup, it feels good just to spray it on and the coconut and it's fantastic. I will definitely be rebuying one of these. Um, I haven't tried the other scents. I almost said flavors. Um, I haven't tried the other scents, but I can't imagine they'd be bad unless they're grapefruit, but I don't like grapefruit. So, um, but the coconut one, I highly recommend. Again, great for travel. It's only 1.6 fluid ounces, so you can't take this on a plane, I believe, if you needed to. Um, so, I mean, it's fantastic. It's a great product. It's a great size, and it lasts a long time. You can take this, and you will not run out, even if it's half full. And it's fantastic. I love it. I will be repurchasing. Um... That's all I have for today, unfortunately. That's all I used up. Um, I try to use up products in a month and not let stuff sit too long, especially liquids. Powders, it's not that big a deal, but liquids, you kind of want to use up. Foundations, um, concealers, mascaras, of course, everybody knows that. Um, even lipsticks are kind of iffy after so long. Um, like I said, powders, you can kind of have for years and they won't really change or smell or, you know, it's a powder. It's liquids that you really have to be conscious about. If you're putting something liquid on your face, definitely use it up in a timely manner or you got to get rid of it. I mean, don't risk it. If it's expired, if it smells weird, if it's uh, the textures change, if the, the color looks weird, don't bother. Don't even risk it. it you know, you're just going to mess up your face. You're going to clog your pores not worth it. I don't recommend it. So, uh, that's all we have for today. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks guys. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.